How you doing? My name is John Clark with Hagana East. I'm here with my buddy AJ Held, state champion wrestler. And uh, today we're talking about what I already put on my blog about single leg debate. Single leg debate, which way is the best way to defend a single leg attack, okay? So AJ's going to demonstrate a single leg, comes in, snatches the single leg off the ground. Where the debate lies is placement as a defensive wrestler, okay? Should I have my leg inside, in between the legs, across the hip, or to the outside, all right? In training for my last fight, there's a lot of debate, mainly where inside or outside is the better one. I think unilaterally a lot of people agree that across the hip puts you probably in the most vulnerable position, okay? My biggest reason for wanting the leg inside is it limits the offense that that AJ can hit. His best option here is going to be to run the pipe. It's a really tight attack. Go ahead and execute it. But he's collapsed on that leg. If he's able to get it, he's going to end up with this leg trapped, and I'm going to end up in more likely pulling at least half guard position. It's, it's an excellent technique, don't get me wrong, but I think in what could happen to me, had I put my foot outside or across, it's probably the best case scenario for defense. The other thing is, is now as I start to defend it with either a wizard or a sprawl by trying to extend this leg, this leg gets very, very heavy when we start talking about live combat, okay? So once again, he goes to attack it, now me defending a little bit. I'm able to push the head down, I'm able to drop elbows here, drop elbows to the side, and make life a lot harder for him. Once I decide to start putting the foot across, now AJ can just pick whatever you actually do, AJ, in the way. You know, he picks a treetop, and you see where he's sliding. He's getting my foot way up above his, up his shoulder, and he's able to do it again, and he's able to put himself right beside the full position. The worst case scenario, in my opinion, is putting it out here. Once I've done this, I've opened up an arsenal of attacks. The worst case scenario, in my opinion, being the blast double leg takedown. Okay? So from here, he drops his double leg, and he throws me down with a lot of force. You see from this position, he's completely in a ground and pound specialist best position. Now he's in that side control where I'm fighting for my life, trying to get back into half guard. You get it? But I've seen it through my years of coaching. I've told a lot of my wrestlers that at this point right here, your opponent really decides what you do to him as the offensive wrestler. If he doesn't decide, our first option is always to push that leg to the outside. Having said that, that's why I don't think it's the best place to go, because this is immediately going to tell the offensive wrestler what your experience is in takedown defenses. And it opens up his arsenal. From here, he goes to hit. Just do the inside trip, AJ. If he's the type of wrestler that doesn't mind being in the guard, I've given him another advantageous position by putting my leg outside. Okay. Uh, AJ, anything to add to that? Yeah. When I have the guy inside, I feel like he has a lot more balance and I feel like he has a lot more weight, so it's tough being my takedown. As soon as I put this leg outside, it doesn't cross with the. I feel he's already out of balance. All I have to do is take a step back and he's going to go down. If I go to the other side, and I just simply raise it, simply raise it, he's off balance again. So if by him tucking inside, it takes everything away from me, he's more balanced as, as a wrestler, as a fighter. That's all. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. I'm not going to eat for more blogs and more videos. Follow us on Twitter as well. Thanks a lot.